Get ready for an uncommon experience in the presence of God. Be expectant and open up your heart as God's word comes to you this morning. This is Mercy Moments with Pastor Shola Oshumakinde. Hello, welcome to another edition of Mercy Moments on a beautiful Monday morning. I'm Shalosh Shumakide, Jesus is Lord. Let us pray. Oh, Father, we thank you, we give you praise. What a beautiful day. Thank you, Father, for another opportunity, another privilege to share your word together. We honor you, Lord. You are good and your mercy endures forever. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Glory to your name. Oh, just pray wherever you are. Worship him, give him thanks. Say, Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Thank him for his goodness to you, to your family, to our nation, and wherever nation you are watching from, just bless the name of the Lord this morning as we start. Let him hear you say, Father, I thank you. You might have said it earlier or say it again. Glory to your name. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. I want to share something very beautiful with us this morning, which is honor those ahead of you. You see, in our time, honor is becoming something that this generation, something they don't want to celebrate. Yet the word of God is true. I want to read from Ephesians chapter 6. The Bible says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Verse 2, Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. What promise? That it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the hearts. Mm. Honor. Somehow, so many people in our time, 
are committing the sin of dishonor. So many people. It's becoming a trend to ridicule, to insult. One of the signs of the end time, Paul talked about men being high-minded. But we are believers. This morning, I'm calling on you. There is a blessing that comes to you when you honor firstly parents, biological and spiritual, and when you honor people who have gone ahead of you. You say, let me tell you something. Brothers and sisters, whatever you do, whatever field of endeavor you are, you, whatever field, whatever thing you are doing, there are pioneers, there are elder brothers, there are seniors in that field. Do not dishonor those who are ahead of you. Don't dishonor your boss. It extends beyond parents. Of course, primarily parents, but every other person also that is ahead of you. When Abraham met Melchizedek in Genesis 14, he brought bread and wine. Abraham was a man that had an encounter with God in Genesis 12. When God called him, he was the called of the Lord. Yet when he saw Melchizedek, Melchizedek blessed him with bread and wine. And Abraham received it. He honored the man. Do not let social media get you into dishonor. Hallelujah. You know, when God called Samuel, he did not give Samuel the message until Eli taught Samuel how to receive from God. He said, when he calls again, say, speak, Lord, for thy servant hear it. There are things you can know by yourself, but there are many things you will be taught if you humble yourself before those who have gone ahead of you. You don't know it all. It is possible to even see elders making mistakes. Do not attack. You don't have to repeat their mistake. You don't have to let it sink into your life. But you also don't have to dishonor them. Your parents might have made mistakes. Oh, there are many young people. The reason for some of the issues going on in your life, for some, you dishonor your parents. You dishonor those who are ahead of you. You say something like, yeah, that's the truth. I, I'm going to say the truth anyhow. Say it. No. A believer does not talk anyhow. Honor those who are ahead of you. Do not dishonor people in the place of work. Oh, glory to God. You might not agree with the policies that your boss is coming out with, but how do you say it? Don't insult people in authority. Hallelujah. The promise is so powerful that it may be well with thee. That means you don't exactly, it's not only, you don't only pray that it should be well with you. When you honor people also, it will be well with you. What about when we dishonor people? When we dishonor parents? This morning, I pray for you that you will not be among those who discredit, dishonor those who are ahead of them. Honor people, honor parents. You might be richer than your parents. You are more eloquent than them, but do not dishonor them. It's coming like a warning this morning that don't let the, some unhealthy influences coming from all over the world lead you into becoming a person that dishonors those who are ahead of him or her. You are blessed. You will walk in the blessing this week in his goodness, his mercy will shine forth over your life. May the Lord cause his countenance to shine on you. Lift up his countenance on you and give you peace. Till I come your way again, this is mercy moment on a beautiful Monday morning. I'm Shalosh Makide. God is good and his mercy endures forever. God bless you.